In this video, let's see another numerical problem based on the concept of multiplication of matrices. You see the heading here, the heading is multiplication of matrices. We have already seen few problems on the same topic and this problem is a conceptual problem on the same topic. Let's see what the question has to say and let's get started with the solution. The question is what? It says that, is it possible, is it possible to have the product of two matrices that means there will be two matrices is it possible to take the product of those matrices and the product should be a null matrix that means the product of two matrices should be a zero matrix now you might be thinking that yes it is possible if you take both the matrices as null matrix take both the matrices as null matrices make their product or multiply them and it will be a null matrix definitely for sure but the question does not say that it wants the result to be a null matrix, the condition is given that neither of them, not even one of them should be a null matrix. You cannot take both or one a null matrix. Let's see how to do it. In this question, when I write the heading solution and I take an example of simple numbers that if I have two numbers A and B and I know that their product is zero, then what conditions arise in my mind? The conditions that arise in my mind are one case is that both of them are zeros, that means zero zeros are zero. The other case is that one multiplied by zero is zero or any number multiplied by zero is zero. Here you take any number where a is not equal to zero, say one zeros are zero, two zeros are zero, three zeros are zero and so on. The other case is what? You can take the first number as 0 and the second number as non-zero. So here also what will happen is I should be taking second number as non-zero. So these three cases are nice. But the question says that neither of them should be zero or null matrix. So if these are matrices, I cannot take these three cases. These three cases would not be valid in my this question. So what to do? Think of some example wherein I have no matrix as null but still the product is what it is a zero matrix or a null matrix now in such case it will go by hidden trial and by regular practice you will come to know suppose i take a matrix wherein i have a row as zeros so that it is possible to obtain zeros later and in some a column as zero i mean first matrix i'll be taking a row as zero second matrix let me take a column as zero if that works, yes, our story will be that the result will be what? It will be a null matrix. So again I tell you, it will be based on your observation skills that how you go about it, you try, hit and try and get the answer. Suppose I take the first matrix as A matrix and then I take the values accordingly. I take it as 0, 2, 0, 0. Why have I taken this? Because I know that these zeros can be helpful while product and suppose I take a B matrix and B matrix I take 1 0 0 0 again why am I taking it because I know that these zeros can be useful now let's first try the product what about AB AB means I have to take the product of A with B now now it is first row first column then first row, second column, then second row, first column, second row, second column. Let's do it. We are doing this. Right. 0, 1s are 0, 2, zeros are 0 and zeros added. Give me 0. Similarly, first row, second column, 0, zeros are 0, 2, zeros are 0, 0 plus 0, 0. Okay. We are reaching our motive. Next, you come on to 0, 1s are 0. 0, 0 is a 0, 0 plus 0 is 0 again. Last but not the least, 0, 0 is a 0, 0, 0 is a 0, so 0 plus 0 is 0. Now, all zeros, so what kind of a matrix is it? It is a null matrix. What kind of a matrix did we need? We needed a null matrix wherein both the matrices should not have been 0 together or neither of them should have been 0 even. Yes, these were in zero matrices. So in this video, we saw a numerical problem which was a concept based problem based on multiplication of matrices.